Miles, can you kind of take me through the last minute from your perspective, what kind of got away from you guys? In the uh, regulation? Um, uh, I mean, it was, it was unfortunate. I think that we, we made our own breaks. We made some great offensive plays. And then, you know, towards the end, we, we go, go down to the last second. Obviously, JB got the ball in the corner. Um, you know, we originally wanted to foul, but I think Pascal made a decision. He got there a little late. You know, I didn't. I think he. I don't think he wanted to give up a four-point play. So obviously, you saw he did try to get out the way, and um, you know, J, JB hit a big, big-time shot, and um, you know, we weren't able to recover in the overtime. Turnovers and the fouls. Do you almost feel like you guys beat yourselves tonight more than anything? Yeah, that's that's that was my message. You know, after the game as well. You know, I think that. A lot of people are going to talk about the free throw discrepancy, but at the end of the day, when you have 22 turnovers and you know big time turnovers, you know I really think we, um, you know we showed our we showed our age a little bit tonight. You know what I mean? I think um, you know being a youthful team and our being in a, at this high stake of a game, you know I think um, those uncharacteristic mistakes just uh, made their way out, and um, you know we just uh, we go over, look at it tomorrow, and just going to have to get right back going because you know we're right back on Thursday. Uh, to, just to continue on that track, I guess, is there anything that you could point to as to why? I mean, it, you, you certainly mentioned youth there, but um, is there any other kind of trend as to what explains, you know, the turnovers, why that became an issue today when it hasn't been one? No, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Just a lot of uncharacteristic turnovers, you know. What, to, on just kind of the flip side of that, you guys obviously, you know, fell behind a few times, managed to rally back. I mean, just what impressed you guys about what you were able to do when you fell behind and were able to rally? Same thing we're doing all season. I mean, um, I guess poise is a good way of putting it. You know, we, we kept our poise when, even when things went good or bad. So, you know, it's encouraging. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we weren't poised enough to win the game. Um, you've been such a weapon in the pick and pop and the pick and roll with Ty. Um, with their defense and how they try to stay so solid, switch some stuff, just what kind of openings did you see tonight that maybe you guys can work on and use going forward? Every game is going to be different. I mean, usually when fives are on me, that's usually my time to get loose and whatnot. But, you know, teams pick up on that and start guarding me with other men and then, um, you know, three fours. And then sometimes they'll guard me with their guards. And then that's when I have to make my way, you know, in the paint and make our, make my hay there. So um, there were definitely some more things I could have done on the stretch to be more aggressive, you know, whether it was crashing a little bit more or ducking it a little bit harder. But um, um, I, 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 watch, I watch a lot of film, and I really do. I mean, it's not really... There really hasn't been much I haven't seen this league. Um, just what did you feel like Pascal was able to bring to you guys kind of in that second half? I think he scores 18 of his points there. Yeah, I mean, I think he was he, he remained patient. He knows the ball is going to come his way. Um, you know, once once they switched the matchup and put Horford on him, it was more so his time to, you know, kind of get more involved in the actions and whatnot. And he was able to um, deliver some big-time shots. You mentioned the poise. You guys have been able to turn the page and uh, come back after some tough losses at times this this postseason. Uh, what has allowed you to do that? What do you think you guys like sort of draw on in, after those games? Um, well, just the fact that we all have a common goal in mind. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I think that early in the playoffs when we got tested a little bit, we kind of started to separate a bit, and we nipped that in the bud in that first round. And it's only brought us closer. So. As disappointing as tonight's loss was, you know, I think that we obviously did some encouraging stuff, but it's one of those things that's going to bring us closer as well. You know, you look, go back to the uh, Milwaukee series, you know, we you know, we lost that game one. You go back to New York, we lost that game one in a close fashion as well. So um, it's definitely a long series. I think we, that's the message that we're going to continue to convey. Um, you know, we just got to, um, like I said, you know, watch the film tomorrow, go over our adjustments, and uh, be ready to go next game. Yeah, how difficult is that when you know you kind of had a game late like this and let it go to kind of stay together for the rest of the series? It's not that difficult to stay together, brother. I'm telling you right now, we've, we've it's been a very long season. We've had a lot of highs, a lot of lows, and you know, ain't gonna stop here. Thank you, boss.